What's up, fellas? So today I have an expansion on the Berserk Method 2023 for you in a program called Beast Slayer. Now, I love continually refining my process. And much like the Berserk Method, this program is my gift to you. I really like taking what I know and giving it to you in a way that's accessible so that you can attack your goals, no matter what they may be, big or small, whatever your experience levels are, and allow you to have confidence in your training for you to get jacked and stacked and then ultimately have fun with it as well and then pass it on and teach the next man. We're all about legacy here and you can find today's program today in the description right now. It's a Google spreadsheet. I got the best spreadsheets in the game. Make a copy, go ahead and follow along with what we're gonna talk about today because I'm gonna talk about how to optimize Beast Slayer so that you can run it in the best way possible. And then when you walk away from it or switch to a different program like we all do, I switch programs, it's okay. You remember the principles and then you're able to apply them intelligently to your training so that you can continue to make progress. Now, some people might be asking, why full body? Like, why is that the split that you run now and that you're trying to get us to run? Well, that's a great question. It's a question that I pose to myself. So let me give you a scenario. I'm going to answer your question with a question. I know that's rude, but we got to get the we got to get the noggin rolling, like the hamster wheel going, right? I had to do this for myself too. But let's just say you have an upper body workout. You want to get your legs bigger in general. That's, that's a general goal of yours. You find that you're not getting enough volume with just your lower body days. Why not throw some leg extensions in the middle or at the end of your upper body workout? You already did bench. That's the most important lift in the universe. You already did enough benching to get better at benching. Leg extensions aren't going to take away from that. Why wouldn't you add it? And that got me thinking about the rest of my training in general. If there were these areas of opportunity and all it took was an extra five, 10 minutes of hard work, why not attack these areas of opportunity? And that just got me to completely revamp everything that I do personally and make me want to share this intel with you so that you can do the same if you happen to have these areas of opportunity like we all do. Now, what are the pros and cons? Well, I feel that it gives us everything that we really want as lifters. We get jacked, we get stacked, we get strong, we have fun doing it, and we get physically fit. Now, this ain't the great white buffalo because it does come with one con off the top of my head, but it can be a benefit depending upon how you look at it. It comes at a big physical fitness cost. Like if you're, you're someone that cannot just stand the fact or the idea of being tired in the middle of a workout, it's going to demand a lot of you. But I feel that this is one of full body's biggest benefits as well. Let me tell you something. Training is a beautiful endeavor, but it's not meant to be this thing where you're, you're never tired or fatigued or there's no fatigue cost or any cost in general to, to building muscles, right? I used to, let me tell you a story actually. I used to be really into long distance running, multiple dis disciplines of running. My fastest mile and a half time was seven minutes and 20 something seconds, seven minutes and change. That's more, that's faster than a five minute mile pace. I don't know like how good that actually is, but I feel I was a pretty fast guy, right? And I can still probably run a pretty fast 40 yard dash. I'm a little heavier now, a lot heavier, I'm over 200 pounds in muscular. But the thing is, is that I had my background in long distance running, right? I used to run a lot when I was in the military as well. And what I loved most about running was is that you actively improved by pushing past the brink of, oh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, my lungs hurt. Oh, this sucks. And you got better for it. And that's just a microcosm of everything that I happen to enjoy about training as well with regards to the mindset aspect of things. And now full body training allows me to revisit some of those same feelings of, oh, my lungs hurt, oh, that I had when I was doing running. Not nearly to the same extent, but it will challenge your work capacity, but also build it as well so that you can do more volume at a higher intensity than you think you would be able to otherwise. Now for fellas that want a taste of that, I got you covered. Beast Slayer is an intelligent system that combines full body workouts either in a hybrid sense with upper, lower, and arm days. For people that have more general goals, want to also be able to adapt this into a strength program, or just want to try out full body workouts. Then we have our intermediate version for people that are intermediate in their weight training, they have some already built up work capacity, and want to do more full body workouts. We combine that with full body workouts, along with what I call like a limbs split, which is halfway between like an arm day and a full body day where you're just working your arms and your legs with isolation exercises or compounds where the legs, the quads, the biceps, triceps, so on. Those are the rate limiters as opposed to other muscles like the shoulders, the back, so on. 
Then we also have the final version of it, which is for very, very advanced trainees. This is people that are, I'm just gonna say like very, very advanced, like relative to myself. For reference, I'm 5'11", 203 pounds. I have a full six pack veins everywhere. I'm very, very strong in every compound exercise. And I have been doing full body workouts for a long time. So I am accustomed to things like drop sets, supersets, circuits where you get no rest and just being on the go in my workouts. For people that want that level of challenge or who are ready for it, we have a program for you that is five different sessions similar to my Bald Swordsman program. The exact same split, just with different exercises and different goals. I'd say if you're familiar with Bald Swordsman, this is like an equal replacement for that, just different goals. We'll get into the perks and benefits of each version individually, but what are the high level benefits to each individual template? Well, it's a good question. One, because it's full body, you recover more evenly than on an upper lower split because you're working everything and everything is recovering at the same time. Two, as we said, this is gonna build a lot of work capacity and I'm gonna be exposing you fellas to rest times that maybe are a little less than what you're accustomed to. Now I'm not saying like 30, 15 second rest intervals, but if you're used to resting like two minutes, get used to resting like 90 seconds. The third benefit is huge to people that like to say, well, I have a job, I don't have, I, I can't work out for blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, fellas. Beast Slayer will force and reinforce you to be efficient in your workouts, meaning there's a lot of built-in efficiency, but it's also going to demand that you respect that efficiency as well. It's gonna be a very fast-paced workout. Four is the, you know, the Chad benefit, but it, it's just cool to have a full body pump, guys. Like, if you've never had your arms and your legs and your back pumped at the same time, dude, it's a euphoric feeling, right? What did Arnold say about the pump? Enough said. Five, for our hypertrophy enthusiasts, it's gonna make sure that you work all or most of your muscles with enough volume for them all to grow. <laughs> Fellas, I know I said it was five, but y'all know I can't count. I thought of a couple more, all right? So this spreadsheet is also, this program in general is also very intuitive. It's easy to use. The drop-down menus are simple. They have a host of different exercises for you to pick through. There's an FAQ that answers frequently asked questions so like what's a double progression what's a du dynamic double progression what's rp so on and so forth it's a word document that i linked into there that's going to allow you to run this program effectively and then also got to have the berserk method flare we have our frequent upper back work our floater isolations which is isolations that you superset with anything and ab work these are all things that i really believe should be in every program and how i attack every program even if I'm working with you, like you pay me for coaching, these are the things that I think about and these are the considerations that I've made with this program. It also contains my new shoulder training secrets. I still have to make that video, but and inquiring minds will know that, you know, the shoulder training sauce is in this program as well, what I've been using to beef up my overhead press recently. Now let's talk about the three different templates, starting with the hybrid. The hybrid, I think, is going to be the most popular option and the option that's going to work for the most amount of people. Now on the hybrid, I chose to make full body workouts like a heavy session that also incorporates some extra volume and frequency for the big muscle groups. It's also going to allow you to adapt it to strength training because we're going to be training heavy bench press, heavy squats. Now for our hip hinge enjoyers, you do have also the option of incorporating heavy stiff leg deadlifts, but if you want an actual deadlift program, I did make one called the Berserker, which you can find in my program playlist. And for our Johnny bodybuilders, you can also choose to incorporate what I call good bang for your buck movements, like fly presses, uh, leg machines like the hack squat, the belt squat, whatever you have, happen to have access to, you can bias it purely for hypertrophy as well. It's a very, in the name, hybrid versatile split. What I really love about this one is, is that, like I said, I try to make things accessible wherever you have to be at. So someone that is newer to the gym could also run this program very effectively just by picking less volume. So I give you a range of sets that you can do per exercise. Just go on the lower side if you're newer to the gym. And then if you're intermediate or advanced and you wanna run this program, you can pick more volume. Does that make sense? Now for our rare breed, the strength-minded fellas, I also have more instruction there for you as well. I included in the FAQ a way that you could outline and pace out your strength work so that you can cultivate strength. So you can happen to make this a purely strength-based program as well. It's all up to you. Hybrid is great. Y'all check that out. Now the hunter, 
This is our intermediate version of Beast Slayer. This is gonna be for fellas that purely want something that is for hypertrophy and building work capacity, and you wanna be a full body aficionado. This is gonna be great for you because we include more full body sessions along with what I call a limb day. So a limb day, like we talked about a little bit earlier, is just a day where we're working our upper and lower body, but instead of with big beefy compound movements that have a lot of load that you need to warm up really well for because you're using a lot of load, we either use movements that are purely for the arms and legs, like curls, press downs, extensions, leg extensions, hand curls, or compound movements that are so skewed towards working the limbs that they're very easy to recover from and you can do a ton of volume on. This is essentially a light day. So I like to put it somewhere in the middle. So we have our full body, limbs, full body. Now I recommend this either directly to intermediate lifters or as a bridge from the hybrid program if you're a newer lifter and wanting to get more into full body training. Why I'm okay with intermediate lifters jumping right into this is because you've been in the gym for a little while. You have a base of muscle, you know how to work hard, you're used to being tired, you can jump right into this and it's not gonna be a big ask for your work capacity. But for someone that's a little bit newer, this is gonna be just a little too much for you. So start with the hybrid program if you're newer, lower volumes, focus on working hard, add your volume over time. And then if you really love full body, you can jump into this after you've built your base of muscle and strength and size on the multitude of exercises that I'm gonna have you doing. Finally, that last but not least is my version of the program, what I'm personally running myself, it's gonna have some different training applications than you may be used to. I'm doing things like blasting my triceps before doing my presses because I'm picking variations that don't demand a whole lot of tricep and I really wanna get my arms bigger. I need those 20 inch guns, fellas. 20 inch arms, gotta have them. I'm doing things like that along with a lot of circuits, a lot of drop sets, a lot of supersets, a lot of not even looking at the rest timer and just really looking at like total session length. So I put my, my stopwatch on for like between an hour and an hour and a half, depending upon the sessions. Now, these sessions could be two hours if I was dragging ass and waiting until I'm fully, oh, I'm not tired anymore, I'm not out of breath anymore. But what you found is, is that, like I said, with my, like my running allegory, where I talked about how I used to run a lot, you're able to put a full tilt effort when you're still a little bit tired. And this pushes you into that brink just a little bit past what you're used to doing. Like I said, not drastically different, but different enough so that you're saving more time and being more efficient. This is solely, and I put this even in the disclaimer on Beast Slayer, look, man, I know that this particular template, it looks super cool. It's a nasty looking program. But literally, bro, if you're not already very, very strong, you're not already very jacked, very big, like objectively, like you're 200 pounds or heavier and you're lean, vascular, and you're very, very strong, you're very, very accustomed to working while you're tired, you have great bodily control, you're great at exercise selection, then this is the program for you. For everybody else, pick the hybrid, pick the hunter. This is for fellas that you know are on the stronger side and wanna try out something that's a lot more advanced that I have been using myself. People that have been following along with the channel know that I also have been running Bald Swordsman in the past, and it's also a five day full body asynchronous split, meaning full body rest, full body rest, so on for 10 to 11 days, right? The difference between this and Bolt Swordsman is, is that I'm pushing the gas pedal even harder on legs. And that, as I said, I'm doing things like manipulating exercise ordering to emphasize different things in a way that is unique, but not necessarily better than Bolt Swordsman, right? So if you're on the advanced side, just depending upon what your goals were, you can pick Bald Swordsman, which you can find on Boost Camp, by the way, along with Raider and my Push Pull Legs program, Power Bomb, really good programs as well. You could go there if you're looking for those types of things, more general goals. But this is a very specific program, as I said, for very specific goals that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to become a 220 pound natty mass monster. I'm five foot 11, that's a lot of muscle on my frame, okay? And I've identified that, you know, I need to beef up my legs even more to put on a lot of what that weight will need to be. My legs aren't small, they're over 27 inches, but I need that that number not to start with a two, I need it to start with a three, okay? And this is my, and my efforts to do that, this is the program that I'm running. Now, those are the three templates, super cool. You go ahead and use the one that sounds best to you. The templates are super easy to just go ahead and go through the drop down menus, pick your exercises, 
and then go. I wanna leave y'all with some final thoughts. Programming aside, everything else that we do on the channel aside, the crazy thumbnails, the crazy titles, the community that we've built, all of those things aside, there were a few things that I wanted to convey. First and foremost, there is no natural limit. There's always something that you can do better or refine or just clean up to make progress where you stopped making progress or progress slowed down. Meaning there's always a way to make that incremental progress until you're super old, a lot older than you think. I saw a natural 60 year old fella rep on squats, 650 pounds. Now, while he's genetically blessed to blah, 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 a lot of y'all couldn't even fathom squatting that, that don't believe, that believe that there's a natural limit. You couldn't fathom deadlifting that, let alone squatting it for multiple reps in your 60s. You couldn't fathom doing that in your 20s. So I'm really not trying to hear the genetics shit. I have seen things that just make me reevaluate what I think is possible for myself and what I want you to believe is possible for you. You can make progress. You just, being in your mid-20s is not a death sentence for your testosterone or your gains or anything, okay? My good friend Sam, my buddy Sam, actually was just on a podcast with our boy Alex Leonidas, and he said something that really encapsulated and crystallized everything that I've, I've ever felt about people that say, well, there's no way for me to make gains from here, appreciable gains over time. It's, it's very arrogant to look at what you do and say that there's nothing that you can do better. When I made the first Berserk Method video three years ago now, I was very confident in my ability to relate to you everything that I knew about training. I know now significantly more than I did then. But if I rested on my laurels, I could have said, yeah, Berserk Method, the first video was my magnum opus, and we wouldn't have the second video, or the third video, or the fourth video, or the sixth video when we come to it, bro. This shit gets me fired up because there's always something that you can do, whether that's your diet, whether that's your sleep, whether that's, with this video, approaching your training a little bit differently, there's always something that you can do to improve. Two, I said this on my podcast with Alex at the end somewhere, I want people to be able to dream again. People are so pessimistic about what they're able to achieve. It, it's beyond pathetic, it's sad. It's sad to me that people just genuinely in their heart of hearts do not think that they're capable of doing anything exceptional. It, it pisses me off because not that they feel that way, but the types of things that they must have consumed or seen that made them feel that way. They didn't have someone telling them like, look man, you can continue to put your plus ones on. You stack up your plus ones over time, yeah, there are only one. You're only adding one to it, but over a course of 10 years, what is that going to do for you? It, it's gonna do exceptional things for you. Pessimism doesn't have to be the norm. People deciding where your limits are doesn't have to be the norm. Let me tell you something, fellas. People have been trying to tell me what I can and cannot do my entire life. Some of those people are here watching my shit when they said, well, you'd never do X, Y, and Z, and they're here watching my shit. I love proving to people what, what I can do, what my true capabilities are. And I love imparting that to people, the fellas that watch my content. I, I love people having that high confidence to be able to speak well of themselves. Lastly, dude, I'm here to help. No strings attached. The fellas that I respect the most, whether that's your John Meadows, whether that's your Dan Greens, they all have a legacy of just helping people and getting people a lot better. And being lifters first, businessmen second. These are not empty platitudes. Those three things are not empty platitudes. Our community speaks for itself, not only in my channel, but in everybody's channels within our community on YouTube. At this point, I alone have helped thousands of people get more jacked, more confident, and better. And those people have gone on to help people make their own channels and be on the path to being an asset to their fellow man and just being you know, an absolute Chad, bro. Fellas, if you have any questions about what we talked about today, go ahead and leave them down below. Share Beast Slayer with a buddy and go ahead and watch Berserk Method 2023, wherever that's at on the screen, if you haven't already, along with this video here, wherever it happens to be at. Y'all have a good day. I'll see you next time.